minutes ahead, pink pancakes to help those recovering from breast cancer. As 6 News' Joe Harris tells us, they also hope people will have full bellies and will learn a few things. The Saturday, it's all you can eat pancakes and activities for the kids. There's going to be clowns and face painting and balloons uh, and music. It's the sixth annual Pink Pancake Feed at Omaha North High School. For $15, you can enjoy the food and festivities with the proceeds going toward the local group Pink Lotus Project. It works on a holistic approach to recovering during cancer treatment. As a survivorship program, we help you deal with your new normal. Uh, your new body, sometimes that means new breasts, sometimes that means no breasts. Harden should know, a breast cancer survivor herself. She says the nerve pain and fatigue that comes with radiation and chemotherapy are long term. It's getting to know yourself all over again um, and getting your mind ready that, you know what, you're probably not going to go back to that same person um, and really embracing and being open to the newness of your new self. In addition to care during treatment, Hardin says it's also about preventative measures against breast cancer. That includes getting black women to see the doctor more. Despite being more than 40% likely to die from breast cancer than white women, Hardin says there's still a mistrust toward the medical field. People are getting access to care. They're in the rural areas. They're, there's pilot places, even in Omaha, for Charles Drews, and clinics that are that are connected to things. It's, it's still about getting people in the door, and then once they get them in the door, what kind of care are they getting once they're in the door? Keeping with the theme of holistic health, Nebraska Medicine is a sponsor of Saturday's event, and there will be free screenings on site for diabetes, STIs, and lead. We're bad about going to the doctor and going to get those yearly checkups, so this might be some people's only opportunity to get checked up, get their blood pressure read or get their glucose close or cholesterol checked, any of that kind of stuff, because they're not walking into clinics any other time. Now, even though Pink Lotus Project's focus is on breast cancer, they say everyone is welcome to go to Saturday's event and receive any of the services Joe mentioned. We'll have that information online for you tonight, wowt.com.